recently especially, there has been a lot of uh, TikTokers being outed for child grooming. The internet is a breeding ground for child groomers. TikTok, Discord, and you know, the Amino apps, any place where there's a lot of uh, congregated children, there is going to be a groomer. There's a lot of big TikTok celebrities abusing their power and, you know, sexually abusing children. Let's talk about grooming so kids that follow me can be more ready to defend themselves or ready to spot the signs and get the fuck out of there. Much like rape cases, right? It's the rapist's fault. It's never the victim's fault. But still, we should be giving possible victims the tools necessary to protect themselves. It shouldn't be a thing, but it is. So let's give you the tools necessary. And I will be focusing on online child grooming, but um, Grooming can happen in real life by an adult that you're supposed to trust. It can also happen to other adults by adults, but I'm focused on online child grooming. Child grooming is befriending and establishing a connection with a child so that this adult can emotionally manipulate the child into doing whatever they want them to do. Through threats, violence, blackmail, um, this child groomer will uh, manipulate you into a place where you are dependent upon them and can't escape. And then make you an object of sexual abuse. The first thing a child groomer will do is attempt to find a victim. Groomers online have lots of platforms with children on them to work with. Like I said, TikTok, Discord, Amino are all breeding grounds for grooming because of the congregated children on there. With online grooming, these groomers have anonymity to work with. It is much harder for them to get caught and, you know, there's less at stake. It's just really easy to groom a child online rather than in person. They will target you for a noticeable vulnerability. So if you have emotional needs that are not being met, like attention, love, etc. If you have financial issues, they will try to play with uh, that concept to manipulate you into their hands. And people don't talk about this enough, but they will target marginalized people because these marginalized kids are already vulnerable for uh, their marginalization. It's for the, the same reason that black women are, you know, a huge target for sex trafficking. It's the, the vulnerability of being a black woman. And, you know, the police doesn't give a shit about black people. That could play in here as well. Police don't really give a shit about black kids either. They're gonna find a vulnerable person and try to play into that vulnerability. The second step of a groomer is gaining your trust and getting info. This is where the groomer will start to try to act like your best friend. Um, they will try to get to know you. They are trying to gain information so that they can better manipulate you uh, into a situation where uh, you are dependent upon them. If they don't know where your vulnerabilities lie, um, what role they need to fill in your life, um, it's harder for them to uh, manipulate you to that point because that's what they're doing uh, at this stage. They're trying to figure out what role they need to fill in your life so that you become dependent upon them. They're trying to gain that information uh, also whilst gaining your trust. A lot of the times they'll act like they like the things that you like. They'll, they're actively trying to be like your best friend. Third step, they will start filling the need that they determine that you need to be filled. They will use that info that they got from you and fill that role, whether it be finances, attention, you know, love, gifts, love, friendship, drugs sometimes. They will fill that need in your life so you become dependent upon them. That is the goal from the beginning, is to get you to be dependent upon them. Step four, uh, isolation. This happens across abusive relationships, not just child grooming situations. If there is a point where they are trying to isolate you, put a wedge between you and people that you love, get the fuck out of that relationship. This child, adult, any type of abusive relationship, this is a big fucking red flag. And then five is the abuse. They say that the stuff that they gave you, whether it be gifts, 
love, finance, etc., needs to be repaid. Um, they will guilt you into doing, you know, sexual acts for them. Uh, a lot of the times online, um, they will either start to, you know, ask to meet you in real life, and in which case you should not do that. But a lot of the times this does come in like photos, sexual photos, and like phone sex and shit. Through threats, violence, uh, blackmail, um, they will use such things to further keep you in the palm of their hand to um, scare you out of asking for help and getting out of that relationship. It is all about um, filling the need in your life and then asking for repayment later and then threatening you when you don't. Here are some warning signs. Adults should not be actively trying to be your best friend. I know there are a lot of kids that, you know, wanna act like they're so fucking mature and, you know, they're 14 and they have 26-year-old friends. Hey guys, that's weird. They should not be your best friend. Obviously, there's some nuance to this. They could be like a sibling type relationship you have with them or a mentor type relationship that you have with them. But if they are trying to be like your best friend as like another 14 year old would, um, that's creepy and weird and should not be a thing, especially online. Um, Cause obviously there's nuances to real life shit, but online, if a strange adult is trying to be your best friend, fucking run, dude. With that being said, adults should not be initiating the conversation in a private chat. It's one thing for the child to do it. Um, I don't really blame children for doing that. I'd suggest you guys don't do that. Please do not put yourself in a private chat with, with an adult. Not only are you putting yourself in a dangerous situation, it could be making the adult uncomfortable. Sometimes adults don't know how to let children down <laughs> and like say, hey, this is kind of weird. And if an adult says that they are not comfortable uh, with speaking to a child online, please respect that. And uh, adults, if a child says they are not comfortable talking to an adult online, uh, b big fucking respect that, please. An adult should not be initiating a private chat with a child. That's weird. If they are giving you frequent compliments about how you look, especially if you are not like, you know, fishing for compliments and shit, it's just kind of out of nowhere, that's creepy. And even if you are uh, a child fishing for compliments, right? Um, once again, it's not really your fault if the adult decides not to um, be fucking responsible and respond uh, appropriately to that situation. An adult should literally never be sexualizing you, ever, in any situation. Photos should not be exchanged. Adults should not be giving you dick pics. They should not be requesting that you also uh, send, you know, sexualized photos. And um, don't send sexualized photos of your own volition. Um, you are giving this adult blackmail. Yeah, no, no photos should be exchanged. That should be obvious, but I'm going to say it anyways. That's weird. Adults online should not be asking for your personal information. I would suggest not willingly giving up your personal information without an adult asking you, um, because that could be putting you in a potentially dangerous situation. But an adult especially should not be the one initiating uh, the exchange of personal information. Do not give strange adults online your personal information. I feel like I need to say this, women can groom too. Uh, you are not safe because the adult is a woman. Yes, it is majorly a man problem. To ignore that women can groom is putting some children in potential danger because they cannot recognize or do not recognize that women can also groom them. And you know, they get into a a potentially dangerous situation. So what do you do if you get caught in this situation? Uh, first and foremost, evaluate it. Are you in danger? Have you given them information that could potentially endanger you? Can they blackmail you? Can they threaten you? If the answer is no, you are early enough in the grooming process where you can block them and make sure they can never find you ever again. If you are in a potentially dangerous situation, um, do not do anything that could anger them because you are in a dangerous situation. Keep contact with them minimal um, and find 
an adult you can trust to deal with the situation. You do need to cut contact with them as fast as possible, but if it angers them and they have shit against you, that could be potentially dangerous. So you want to make sure the situation um, is, you know, dealt with before that happens. See if there are any adults in your life that you can trust and talk to uh, that will help you get out of this situation safe. And last but not least, before I end, just because they're a celebrity you like does not mean that they should be using that against you. They're an adult and they should not be, you know, uh, manipulating your uh, infatuation with them to get sexual gratification. You should not be justifying that as a child. You should not be justifying um, other 15 year olds getting groomed because you want to be sexually involved with these adults so badly. You are not supposed to be sexually involved with adults. Full stop. I don't care how infatuated you are with this celebrity adult. They should not be grooming you. They should not be doing sexual shit with you and you should not be justifying that. You are not mature and you are not mature for your age, okay? Stop, you are a child and adults should not be sexualizing you. You are not mature for your age. Stop it. Be a child. And in fact, um, sometimes groomers will say shit like, wow, you're so mature for your age, as you know, boost your ego and gain your trust. So I, I would not play into that, you know, you're so mature for your age bullshit, okay? Get out of there if you see these warning signs. Be safe out there, and it should be noted that it is ultimately always the adult's fault, no matter what. The adult, uh, is the adult in this situation and they should have been more responsible. I, however, think it is good to give you um, the tools necessary to protect yourself, but in the end, it was not your fault. The adult should not have been grooming you. Please stay safe and don't let weird e-boys on TikTok groom you.